Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's SuperBT2027, and in today's video, I will be showcasing my new LEGO gearbox. Well, it's not really new, but I redesigned it. So, I added some more weight back here to make it a little bit more realistic. And I also made the shifter a linear shifter. So it can go back and forth, and it's actually a lot quicker to shift. So yeah. It still has the same gears, just a linear shifter. And then I also added a new clutch that it's actually a friction clutch. So it'll be easier to get going and it won't just be like really rough like the previous clutch. And I used a differential design that isn't my design. I mean, I built all of this, but the differential wasn't my idea. But as you can see, um, the clutch is engaged right now with a rubber band. So when I spin the input, it'll spin the um, gears inside of the differential and it'll spin the rest of the gearbox. But when I lift this lever right here, that'll disengage the clutch. So now when I spin the input, it'll just rotate the differential. And how I made the friction part is hold on let me just take this apart so the way that the clutch engages is i use these four little wheels right here that have rubber on them obviously and then i use this little smooth plate i guess and i scratch it up a little bit which i guess i won't be using it for anything else but i added some scratches to it to make it more rough and it does work pretty well, but the clutch still slips sometimes. So now I've put the lever back on for the clutch. And also, to power the gearbox for today, we're going to be using my inline 2 engine. So, I did make a few changes. I had to make it to where there were two connecting rods on each piston. Because when there was only one, it would keep breaking every so often. So I added two. Hopefully it won't break anymore. And I also super glued some of the gray parts right here on the crankshaft. Because those kept breaking off like at the axle part. Because this engine, to be honest, is really powerful. It's a lot more powerful than my VR4 engine. Probably because it has the um, four stud crankshaft. So... Anyway, if this engine does break again, which it does break sometimes, but hopefully it won't. If it does, we can just switch over to my VR4 engine. Anyway, guys, let's get started.
Alright guys, so I don't think my engine broke, but I know you guys can't tell from the video, but in person this engine is actually kind of scary. Like it feels like you're gonna break every time you rev it. So I mean it is really kind of powerful. But I will make another video with my VR4 engine since I didn't get to do it this video. And yeah. Oh I forgot to mention I put a tire on my vacuum tube. So, that should have helped with the performance. Um, if there's anything you guys think I should upgrade or change, please let me know. And also, please let me know what you guys thought of this video. And thank you for watching. Bye.